a break. We've been going now for about an hour and a half. We're gonna have a little snack. Got an apple. Kelsey brought these. Skinny dip almonds, super dark with sea salt. It was pretty good. Got crackers. Same salami I always get. Uh, this one's the smoked version. I've gotten the spicy one before, so we'll see how smoked works. And we got some uh, big old block of smoked gouda to go with it. Luna's been doing great. <laughs> we let her off leash and she just went completely nuts. Did zoomies up and down, up and down, just going crazy. Um, and then the most challenging thing today has been the mud. Like we've been walking in this mud. It rained a little bit last night and it's incredibly sticky. I've never like seen this sticky of mud. Your hiking pole gets like a golf ball of, of mud on it. And then my shoes, I feel like I'm walking around in Mickey Mouse boots. You having fun, Kelsey? Yep. What do you think of the trail so far? Good views, right? It's nice, yeah. Rolling hills. Rolling hills. Luna likes it. So Green grass. I approve. Luna's gonna sleep really good tonight. Yeah. I have no concerns about her sleeping. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Sit down. Wait. Okay. <laughs> We've got Kelsey slip sliding. And we have Luna. She's going berserk over here. You having fun, Kels? Oh, it's muddy. Oh, man. It's rough, right? Like, oh people are going to be like, oh, it's just mud. Like, no, it's like incredibly sticky. And then you walk over here and you get like grass build up on your shoes. You have like a thatched hut on your bottom of your feet. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Okay. We have reached the top. Hopefully it's not as bad now. How's your day going? It's going well. I think we're almost there. We are. We've got like two more miles to go. Nice. Then we can get some more water since we're running a bit slow. <laughs> the negative Luna's about, drinking it all. Yeah. The negative <laughs> about this trail is there is no water and for about four miles it's completely sun exposed. Mm. Gorgeous day out though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she got some water and she got rested for 30 seconds so now she is ready to go. Barrel, barrel, barrel. What are you doing? <laughs> Just loves long grass.
down in the valley. Uh, great, great hike. Just a little over eight miles from the car. It took uh, about five hours. We went nice and slow, just took it easy, took some video, played with Luna. Um, relatively easy hike. It's definitely gonna be a bit more of a challenge because tomorrow is pretty much all uphill. Um, but yeah, great river here, uh, tons and tons of water. Uh, we're gonna search around. Uh, looks like there's like one other couple here. We looked a little bit, but this is a pretty big valley. It's probably like two miles by a mile wide. Uh, so there's, there's tons of spots we could go camping. So we're just gonna look around. There are a few pre-existing fire rings. Uh, check it out and set up camp. Then I'm gonna eat uh, snack number two. It's 2.30 and I'm kind of hungry. So I gotta eat some more food and uh, get Luna in the water. She absolutely loves the water. So she's gonna be glad to play around in the river. Oh, gorgeous day out. This is so nice. I'm surprised it's not more green. Um, it was, last time it was here, it was like, looks the exact same. Luna. Oh, you having fun, honey? Yes, oh boy, you're much, much happier with it. What did you do to the dog, Kelsey? You want to go for a swim. Did she actually go swimming? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Despite Luna looking exactly like a Border Collie, she does not act quite like a Border Collie. Uh, she's pretty good at chasing things, but catching and retrieving them she'll only do it for like a couple of times. And then uh, <laughs> she does get bored with them and just likes to chew on them. You're doing pretty good today. You want this? You want this? You want that? Here. Hey. Oh, almost, so close. Almost. You gotta yeah. just close the jaws, Luna. You gotta close <laughs> the jaws. Right. Okay. You want that? You want this? Uh, uh, uh. We kind of went medium heavy, I would say, on this particular trip because it's eight miles and about 2,000 feet of decline, so it's not terrible. So we brought a camp chair. There's some nice rocks here. But yeah, so this is pretty cool, Kels. Check this out. Just kind of shake it. Yeah, well, essentially. Hey, my stomach's ground. Did you hear that? I'm starving. Yeah, I got to fix this elastic. See how it's about ready to fall out. Anyway, so it's like a... Um, be careful if you stand up because this one might fall out. This chair is like a million years old. It's pretty light. It only weighs like a pound. It's been uh, this is what we use in all of our canoe trips. So Joe and I have been in the and I've been sitting in this chair for many hours on end. Since I carried it, I get to sit in it. Yes, I brought this just for or you brought this. You didn't even know I had this, did you? No. But now I think I remember seeing it in your videos. Yeah, it's in all the Joe videos. Yeah. All the canoe ones. Because like this thing, like after you sit in a canoe all day, like it is indispensable to have it. So sit it on that. I, I will warn you that the feet are kind of notorious. Can I talk? this in for some more sport? Yeah, put it put that on your butt. Yeah, you don't want your butt getting cold. So that's your butt pad. And then there's your chair. Whoa. It's pretty nice, right? It's not bad. If you sit there for too long, your neck will start to hurt. I brought so I brought something a little different for pat or comfort pad. I got this from Mountain Laurel Designs, but z -Packs, I think does the same thing. This is eighth inch foam and I cut it, it's about like 42 inches long. So it's like a little mini yoga mat and it's also my seat pad. So it's nice because you can fold it up and it's about an inch thick. So it's really, really thick. I've been preferring kind of in the, you know, I, I, got, a, I got a bit of a booty guys. So um, I got it in a large booty formation here in order to offer plenty of, of padding there for me. But I can also roll it out and uh, use it for stretching. We're gonna eat some food. We're gonna eat some food and then it is gonna be time to cut up some firewood and uh, play with Luna. What you eating, Kels? Mm. I just shoved my mouth full of them, so. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, that's just like that's 20, always going to ask you a time. question, right? When you've taken it's a like bite a of food, like a chipmunk size. <laughs> Are you eating all of those things? I what? don't have this. Like ah, you you <laughs> you never actually did say what they were. No, I love all the flavors. Not my favorite, but they have all of them are good. What's your favorite? Probably the lemon. I actually like that one quite a bit. Yeah. And these are like a peanut butter chocolate one. Yeah, that's also not my favorite. Isn't it? Hmm. Original and lemon. 
We're gonna walk down by the water. We're going to chill out our uh, beverages for this evening. Kelsey had these handcrafted cocktails by a company called Troop Beverage out of El Dorado Hills, California. It is a mojito. Probably pronouncing that completely incorrectly. Mojito. Mojito. You have to, you have to like put the emphasis on it. That's what I learned when I was in Miami, Kelsey. Right? Exactly. No? Yes? <laughs> oh, come on. Nope. Not interested in that stick. Oh, she's she's going for it. No, it's down over, it's going over the little waterfall. Cool. We gotta float away. We gotta uh get, put a rock on it? Yeah, oh uh, yeah, give me a couple of rocks and I'll make like a little barrier here. This is like a good barrier rock. I need, I need like a couple. Yeah. I need like one more of those. You're like severely disturbed. Ah, <laughs> oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, come on, dog. She gonna get it? Oh, she got it. Come on, Lana. Did you get a stick, Luna? <laughs> you have to bring it back to us in order for us to throw it. I think she wants it and being a She just wants to chew on it. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, Go. so much better. Go get Well, hi. You gonna help dad with some yoga poses? Good. No, drop. Hey, drop. Good, okay. You drop? You drop? Her bark echoes a lot right now in the valley. Thirsty, thirsty lady after all the playing. Do you like the, uh, <laughs> like the little foam pad there, Kels? So take a nap? much different than just laying on the ground. Right, that eighth inch of foam <laughs> provides ridiculous support, right? I can feel it's a little bit cozier. It's maybe a titch warmer, right? Like, yeah. So I don't know. It, it gets you out of the dirt and the mud, I guess. Yeah, I need like a better sombrero hat. You need a better sombrero. I'm sorry, no sombrero right here. Oh, Luna, are we? It's like the sixth time she's done this today. Sunset. The bewitching hour. Yeah. Is it a full moon? Is she gonna lose her mind? She might turn into a werewolf. Oh, she gonna go up and over that stuff? Luna, no. up, 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 up. No, she, don't get her started. <laughs> If anyone wants to know what pure and utter joy looks like, this would be it. Better fire prep for the night. 
Got our fire prepped for the night. Kelsey broke up some really small twigs. A little bit bigger fuel. And a little bit bigger fuel than the main stuff. And Luna has helped a lot by stealing all of the sticks. <laughs> and moving them everywhere. Anybody happen to tune into Kyle's knife review? Not sure if you agree or disagree with his recommendation on the Swiss Army knife as the best knife for the, what do you call this? Backpacking, Kelsey? Peel, peeling wood. Peeling, oh, making shavings or curls. Curling. That's what he meant. I was like, what are you talking about curling? Yeah, I had to show you on the, like, I had to go back to old videos and show you what I meant by okay. making curls. Okay. So this is like, this is not the best piece of wood, but you can see, like, makes nice little curls. And you break it off. You try to keep it in your hat. And if you do this for a few minutes, then you get something that looks like that. Then, we can get it to go. Super easy. Wow, the sun is like going down behind the hill really fast. Yeah, I thought about that afterwards, after I told you to sit there. <laughs> Starting to settle in for the night. Kelsey went and got the mojitos. Are they cool at all, Kelsey? I don't know yet. I was wearing gloves. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> Gotta rinse the pond water off, you know. Oh, yeah. That's probably not a bad idea. So we've got uh, the mojitos going. We're going to do... Uh, this is kind of a really kind of a weird um, cultural fusion of, of food here. We have uh, kind of my Italian pesto... Uh, with, leftover night with smoked sausage <laughs> yeah the, uh, smoked salami we're gonna do that you, you haven't had my uh, pesto have you yeah it's the leftover batch from a previous trip so. oh yeah it's the meal i didn't eat in the last one <laughs> so yeah hopefully it's, it's fine Got a little grocery outlet leftovers yeah it'll be good so in that recipe like what is it it's ramen noodles pine nuts um basil garlic powder salt and dried sun, sun, sun dried tomatoes uh, you dump some olive oil in and then some Parmesan. So you've seen it before in other videos I've done. Definitely one of my favorites. It doesn't feel really cold at all. So My, my stream cooling trick didn't work. The stream's too warm today. Yeah, it's not like it's coming out of like a, you know, glacier or something. It's not going to be that cold. No. We're down in the valley here. It tastes like it's fresh from the bar. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> it's such a glowing review there. <laughs> percent alcohol for this little tiny can like this is a concentrated blend <laughs> okay i'm gonna try it here oh yeah you're right it's <laughs> like this is like two beers <laughs> okay well thumbs up hey, you gotta cheers. Mm. Cheers to <laughs> oh yeah it's definitely got that like kind of fake mint taste to it it, it kind of tastes like sweet toothpaste honestly with the lime though it's not bad like i i don't like it. it's got a good I'd buy it again i'd buy it again yeah for sure yeah. i'd prefer it like like chilled though you know not like stream cooled well nature only provides so much for us tonight that's true so kelsey are you enjoying your hiking trip so far yeah chillaxing right now does the mojito help i feel like i'm at a five-star resort in front of a wood-burning fire good had a fresh mojito made brought right to me service See, this is so much better than like spending like hundreds of dollars in going places this is this is this trip there it cost us no money it's priceless yeah. i guess we just had to pay for food and then pay our taxes it but, also helps that you make most of the fire <laughs> that's very helpful you like me making it oh yeah yes i feel like i'm being waited on by you you kind of you Kyle. i, I kind of have done a lot of, like i've filmed <laughs> the trip i brought most i've carried the, the tent food. up you know, that pack, was it pack the packs <laughs> Those in our wedding Bro vows, here. though, right? Like, I, I did say that I would carry the heavier pack. So, so far, that's that's been accurate. Does that include like my camera gear, or not include my camera gear? That's kind of heavy stuff. It can be kind of heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Have you had a big day? You know, you ran like all over the place, and we couldn't keep you out of the water. Yeah. yeah. She's done like seven zoomies today. You, you got. She's got to be tired. She's tired now. 
it looks a little bit, but I feel like she could keep going if she wanted to. Well, I thought yours was gray. Is she, it? Did you get a new one? This is a new pad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, it's got a redesigned valve, and it's four ounces lighter. You have no room to talk. There are so many Amazon packages that come, okay? Why are you gonna pass out? You're like blowing all your oxygen in this bag. We're not at altitude, we're like at sea level and you're like, Ugh. I could die. <laughs> I'm just glad you're not like the rest of my friends that would, uh, you know, make fun of me for having, getting high altitude of pulmonary edema. This is seriously the worst part of camping. <sighs> like raining, sleet, snow, mud, no problem. Blowing up the path. I will say though that the redesigned valve is nice because it doesn't backflow like that one. Well, I want that too. I want a new one. So that one backflows. So if, when you stop it, it starts exiting. This one's got the things so that stops it and it deflates quicker too. So okay, one tip on this is oh it, yeah, crunch the noodles. Crunch the noodles. Like you got to crunch the noodles so they, they fall down. And then a, it's it's a lot easier to eat too. Surface area. Yeah. So like you crunch them. You don't have to crunch them a ton, but just like break up the, the ramen packet, otherwise you'll be here forever. So, okay, so I broke it up. It smells amazing. Final step in the dinner preparation process is a little bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna eyeball about half of this. What? I love Parmesan more than anything. Except you. There you go. There's parm left. Okay, I'm gonna put some olive oil on mine. It's like we're in Italy. So quick story, <laughs> quick story. Last, so we got married in May of 2019. 19. Yep, got that. Hey, I knew that, I knew that. May of 2019 is when we got married. And we didn't want to do a honeymoon immediately after. So we're like, okay, let's like take a year or let's take a couple of months. Like, let's like, you know, get used to being married and then we'll go on, on honeymoon. So we planned out this epic, I guess you planned out this epic, epic Italian honeymoon. We were going to go to like Rome and go get, I love pizza. So For we're going to- April in 2020. Yeah. So, and it, we were going to go in Rome and then go up north, that which didn't work out. If, if anyone remembers, <laughs> like Italy in March, April was like the COVID hot zone of the world. So we didn't get to do that. So instead, we've been talking about getting a dog for like forever and ever. So we did the, the cliche thing, I guess, I think everyone else did in COVID times, and we got a, a, a dog. And one of the reasons we named her Luna is because she's the replacement for our honeymoon. And Luna means moon. In Italian. In Italian. So, it's yeah. It's also one of the most basic dog names you can choose. But... That, that is one problem we've, <laughs> we've found is that like, we know, I've run into what, like, 15 20 other people that have lunas yeah. so uh, if you're at the dog park like everyone is calling luna well one in five one in five oh so what do you think that's very good for ramen it's pretty good right mm -hmm. did you get to the pine nuts yet i like the crunchy pine nuts um yeah i think i got a one or two i put in like 30 or 40 in each they're really expensive pine nuts but like you got them at trader joe's and they're pretty inexpensive right Costco, Trader Joe's, Costco. depends on how many pine nuts you're going to eat. I, you, I like pine nuts. I never really knew about pine nuts. But they work good in this one. But yeah. Well, our little cleanup crew has arrived. <laughs> little Luna. We got so, a genetic test on Luna. Yeah. You're probably not surprised that she's about 50% border collie. 47% border collie. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense. Like, doesn't make, yeah, how does that work? Um, what was the rest? 50, well, no, like 30% other variants of Husky. Like yep. the Malamute versus a, I don't know, a cousin of the Malamute. She definitely has like a thicker coat and a bigger, like her neck. Like she has this really thick neck compared to- her neck waddle. Yeah, her neck waddle yeah. is what we call it. Is is like definitely different than a Border Collie, but her like back end, like her tail and, and her britches and stuff, very Border Collie-esque in her, in her face. Her face, like her nose and her head is. 13% um, Pitbull. Yeah, which like I don't see any pit bull in her or whatever. And uh, six percent Bavarian Mountain Hound, which I've never heard of, <laughs> and you had to, you had to look up. We didn't even know what that was. They're cute. So the reason we got Luna is I grew up with a border collie. Her name was Foxy, amazing dog. Got her probably in middle school or so. 
um, and that was kind of my childhood dog. So I always have had a tender sweet spot for Border Collies in my um, my heart, I guess. So w when we uh, we got Luna, even though she looks like a Border Collie, she doesn't really act like one. I, I would say, like, some of the differences are she... Is, she definitely has the energy. Like, there's she no, is crazy. She's absolutely crazy. She's <laughs> just bazonkers. She's very externally focused. That's what all the trainers yeah. say. We, we, we've been taking her to classes. So the, the trainers say she's externally focused, which is common of a Border Collie. She doesn't have... Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're always they're always looking around. They're always, like, looking I like around. I other things. Hmm? I like other things. Yeah, they're always, like, paying, paying attention. And, like, the other Super thing space. that she does... She likes to wrestle a lot more than she likes to retrieve. Like, that Border Collie, like, play with the Frisbee drive, like, you saw it today, like, it's there, but she'll do that for, like, 10 minutes. Foxy would do that for, like, 10 hours if you let her. So uh, there's there's some differences. It's interesting to see, like, when you have a mixed breed versus, I think Foxy was pretty much purebred, um, the differences in how the breed affects the personality. But... I mean, Each dog is an individual. Yeah, they are. They're very different. But I, you know, I'm super happy with Luna. We we get along great. She she's good at being both active and absolutely crazy, and and likes to go hiking and wants to go out and and do fun stuff. But at the same time, at home, I mean, she's definitely a couch dog. It's you know eight o'clock at <laughs> night, and she will be curled up on top of me and Kelsey and and trying to take over. It's amazing how a fifty what four pound dog can take up as much space as me a hundred and. 90 pound man like I, I don't know how she does it but she takes up a lot of space on the couch this will be her first night sleeping out um we'll see how this goes we've we've done car camping a couple of times but never done the uh overnight backpacky thing but I think she slept in the car she slept in the car that's right she has like a we have a little like cradle in the back seat which has been great it's it, you know when she's really dirty and, and gross it doesn't get all over the car but gets in the cradle thing and she really likes that she sleeps a lot in the car it's like a dog hammock yeah, like dog hammock. And, and we slept in the tent next to her at the campground. So this will be our first backcountry trip with her. Um, I doubt it'll be an issue. She goes through these phases where she really wants to sleep outside on the deck when it's like 40 degrees outside and windy. That's like the preferred, hey, I need to go outside and sleep on the deck. So she obviously doesn't have a problem sleeping outside. Um, so we're gonna put her in the vestibule, lay down our backpacks. I have this like little uh, extra foam pad you saw me doing some yoga on. I'm gonna lay that over it, and that should be more than enough ground insulation. If she gets cold enough, she's dried off pretty good. We can always cover her up with our, our down jackets, but I, I think she'll be more than fine in the vestibule there, and, and all of our three of our body heats together will keep us warm. It's supposed to get down to like 39 tonight, so it's not like freezing cold, like she slept outside and much colder, but um, I just wanna insulate her from the ground, I think is you know always the most important thing when it comes to camping warm. Seven thirty, and uh, we've been chilling here by the fire for a little while. Luna is uh, pretty, pretty darn wiped out. <laughs> I've been having fun with the uh, astrophotography. I'll be curious to see if any of these come out and post. Uh, I'm using a different camera than I've used in the past. I'm using a Sony A6600 uh, and um, with a wide aperture, 16 millimeter lens. So we'll see if the uh, astro shots come out. I hope they do. They, it's an incredible night. Super, super clear. Tons of stars. Um, I, I feel pretty lucky that we're in a really good spot, and uh, we're only like an hour and twenty minutes from home. So this is this is really cool. We're in the tent now. I'm not sure if you can see us because the lens is so fogged up. Um, it's about eight o'clock, and this fine mist has settled into the valley. Everything outside is soaked. And even inside, before we even got into the tent, the tent walls are very, very dewy and wet. Probably one of the wettest I've seen. We also have Luna right here, uh, sleeping in between the two of us. She refuses to go into the vestibule and wants to sleep right next to us. So we're gonna sleep, uh, attempt to sleep cuddle with- Cuddle the puppy. Cuddle the puppy here. <laughs> All 52 pounds of her or whatever uh, this evening. Hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, we'll see you in the morning.
frozen tent. It got extremely, extremely frosty last night. The entire tent is just covered uh, inside and out. <laughs> Luna slept amazingly well. She slept about, I don't know, what, 80% of the night down on her, on her feet. And then <laughs> then from 5 a.m., we, we like w both woke up at the same time, spoke for like a second. She came up here and then laid on top of us uh, and curled up right in between us. So... Um, <laughs> She's very, very lovey-dovey right now and wants a lot of morning attention. Hi, right, yeah, good morning. Yeah, are you having fun? Yeah, she's having fun. Yes. It's the one time she gets to lay on the floor with her people all night long. Yeah, you slept, you slept like she. I'm surprised she didn't make any noise. Like it was quite nice. No barking. No, no barking. noise. Like nothing. There's like, there's definitely some animal going like walking around last night, like a mouse. And then I heard a bunch of birds like making noise outside too. <sighs> okay. It's cold. It is. It got really cold last night. Luna, are you just so excited because we've woken up in the woods? You get to go ripping around. There's a river you can go jump in. I mean, you're just. This is just dog heaven. You wanna go on a walk? No, don't get her. Go on a walk? <laughs> yeah. Go hiking. Go see some birdies, squirrels. Maybe a fish? We we'll go hiking? <laughs> <laughs> so Kels, this is the uh, coldest you've camped in. What uh, What are your thoughts? Yeah, there's snow forming inside the tent. It's so cold. Yeah, that was that was fun. There's I uh, icicles in the tent. I yeah. took I picked up my jacket and it was just like had a sheet of ice on it. But it was helpful sharing warmth with Luna. Yeah, she uh, yeah. she warms up the tent. She yeah. liked she cuddled up Warmer there with you. Warmer than a fire. Yeah. yeah, she was quite warm. So whatever's whatever Luna wants. I'm not really sure the exact temperature of what it got down to, but based on my you know guesstimate, I would say it was probably in the mid mid to lower 20s potentially at some point during the night. I mean, this is some pretty thick frost, and, and it was I was cold. I, I have a 30 degree bag, and I got chilly, and I usually don't, especially in, a, in like a double wall tent like that with another like person and a dog. Like I should have been fine down to 30, so it was definitely below that. Um, and it's gonna warm up. I mean, like it's it's like you can see it's very sunny over here. So as soon as the uh, the sun hits this area, it'll melt off. But uh, Luna over here, I don't think it phased her one bit. She's found a a nice morning stick. You know, who needs coffee when you can have a nice morning stick? You totally missed that one. She's got. A, you should have said nice morning wood. <laughs> Did you just, like, seriously, you just said that? The dog, the female dog you has... You has missed that joke. Nice. You, you were, like, one point away. <laughs> That's pretty bad, Kels. That was good. I like that. It's melting quickly. I just took the fly off, and this, like, huge sheet of ice just fell on top of the tent. It's like, micro thin, but... We're going to get packed up here. Um, try to get out of camp and on the trail by 9. We've got about 8 miles to go and about 2,000 feet of climbing. Um, but it should be nice to do it kind of early in the morning here before it gets too terribly hot. Made it back to the car, had an awesome, awesome trip. This is Kelsey's first trip where she's uh, camped out below freezing, I think, right? And we were well below freezing, so that's okay. It doesn't feel like it now, it's hot. <laughs> no, it's really warm, it's very sunny. It's like, cars is 67, so it's it's hot. Uh, we've, we've changed like, what, 40 degrees since we've gotten up, basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Luna did awesome, we're super happy. She slept with us in the tent, no problem, no complaining, no nothing. She slept through the night, so she did really great. Um, yeah, really enjoyed the trip. Uh, good, good, fun spot for our first outing. There'll definitely be a lot more with Luna, uh, a lot more backpacking adventures this year. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.